Hello guys, welcome back to Retopology Masters. In this video, I'll show you how you can combine the Retopology tool with Key Hydra Laser Cut, especially the screen cutter tools. I would like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring this series of videos and helping me produce more great content for you guys. Key Hydra is a combination of four different things. It's got a special shortcut system, the Key Hydra shortcut system. It's got Laser Cut, a great Boolean system. It's got Wheel Control and it's got modifiers and tools. So you can find a link to this in the description. You have two to choose from, Key Hydra 1.0, which is free, or 2.0, which is paid. So guys, if you just want to get a quick introduction without spending any money, check out the 1.0 version. But the 2.0 version is newer and faster. All right, so here I've just got this basic shape, guys. And what I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to just kind of, from wherever my camera was, I've always wanted to just kind of use a spline to cut that. And finally, with Laser Cut, we have that. So click on Key Hydra and then laser cut, and then laser cut user interface. You get this very nice thing right here. So at the top, we have four categories. Subtract, your basic subtraction boolean. Split, split up in two pieces. Union, and create. Create allows you to create as you would expect. You have auto grid. First, we have to make which object we want to be active. On which surface will we create things? So we select this, and we can click on C node. We can have it be set to selection. So now if I click on box, I can create a box on here. Then I can create a box on here. Now what you guys are going to notice is that this box is not aligned with this. So simply go into cutter alignment and instead of having world origin, world space, use object space. We can try using C node, click here to add this or simply click here, then left click on this. As you can see now, instead of the box using world alignment, it's using the local pivot alignment of this. So you can create boxes, gengons, cylinders, and poly EX lines, which is pretty much like using a spline. Next, we have union. We can add to this. We have split and subtract, which are my two favorite ones. Let's use split. And here we have the screen cutters, guys. So first, rotate your camera to how you want it to be cut or split. Select that. You can, for example, make this transparent. So then I'm going to click on polyline. And we're simply going to create this nice spline in screen space. All right, let's close it. And as you can see, guys, it's now real time projection from the screen to where we were. And it's cutting that away. It doesn't even need to be a volume. You can see this is just a surface there's no volume here but it still works just fine now here's here's the coolest part about this guys if that wasn't cool enough once you right click from here you get this really nice thing which allows you to move the edge if you click in the middle of this green circle you can move that point if you click on the green circle you can fill it and what's also cool about this guys is that no matter how you rotate your camera, it doesn't ruin this alignment. In other words, it's going to use this alignment right here, this surface. So even if you click on this, as you can see, if I click on the inside of this, you can see even though I've changed my viewing angle, guys, it's still perfectly aligned to that surface. It's not going to move left or right here. It's perfectly aligned to this. So guys, we have a really amazing tool, very impressive can very easily change this. We can very easily fill it by using the green circle. And look at that, guys. We have a nice fillet system happening here. And it's very customizable. And if you want to increase the segments, it's simply right here under screen mesh. We have, we can increase the complexity of that. So if you want to retopologize manually, you can have that be set to a lower amount. If you want to go ahead and use auto retopology, you can set it to a higher amount. All right. Once we create a new one or exit out of this, you can see that mode is gone. Just simply go back to a click on manipulate mode and we're back to that. Very nice, guys. Very nice. At this point, we can also open this up. Here we have utilities at the bottom. So by default, this is all kind of closed up. Open up utilities. You can toggle cutter layer display just to kind of turn that off. All right, I'm going to change the object color. We can apply symmetry later on. All right, let's do another one here. 
actually let's let's make this object our active one Now I do want to customize what I've done here. So click on that and then manipulate mode. And now I can very easily fill with this by clicking on the green circle or inside to just move it around. Very nice guys, very nice, very intuitive, very powerful, very nice. Give that a different color just to kind of differentiate temporarily. And there you go guys, we have this excellent screen space happening. And we can also very easily, guys, just use retopology. So retopology, 25, we now have this. And I can very easily add further detail to this. So it's quite amazing, guys. It's quite powerful. And as with, Reta, as with all the tools, retopology just works with it very nicely. So retopology is a great addition to 3ds Max that works well with all other tools. It enhances all other tools. Now with this, I can very easily retopologize this as well. Look at that. We can now further add details without worrying about bad topology that we previously had.
All right, guys, so as you can see, you can have a lot of fun combining laser cut, screen space cutters, just to kind of cut wherever you want, retopologize, add some fun detail, and get very nice shapes happening here. And you can just really get carried away with adding detail upon detail, really just zoom in further and further, add further and further detail as much as you want so that your object and design will hold up to even close inspection. Thank you for watching and take care.